Hey, what's up, buckos? It's me, the Vast Man. I know, it's been a while. Here we are, though, and we're going to be delving into the mystical lands of Skyrim. Part 1. Our journey begins with the character creator, as all things do, and the loveliness of the Bethesda 2011 customization sliders. Gentlemen, meet Adriel, a powerful wood elf mage with white hair. First order of business is to escape this weird sex dungeon we're in, which was surprisingly easy. Now that we've left that hellish dungeon, we can now strive to become the most powerful mage in Skyrim, and I'm sure this will be an easy and amazing jer- And we're fucking dead. Great. Okay, that code went better, but give me a fucking break, guys. It's been like three years since I played this game. This time we'll be be- Or fucking not. This time for sure, avoiding literally every enemy, from the point of the dungeon to Whiterun. Once arriving in Whiterun, we pick a fight with some hot single MILF in our area, and we beat her so good, she pays us and requests that she joins us on our adventures. We also pick up some random hungover lady or something, I don't know, she's schizophrenic. Children creep me out. Is it just me or do they all look the same? After getting set up with a proper entourage, we set forth to the small hamlet of Riverwood to pick up another dipshit for our posse, as well as begrudgingly helping out a shopkeeper who lost some fucking claw or something, I don't know. So now we're off to this hate fuck crypt with god knows what, probably dead shit, or bandits, or both. Well I was slightly right, there was bandits, and now they're dead. And the guys that are supposed to be dead, are not dead. It's really a bizarre world in this fucking dungeon. We come across this fella who fucked around and found himself stuck in the spider sex cords. He told us he had the fucking claw thing the merchant was after. So being the good Samaritans we were, we threw a few fire bolts in his nuts and finished him off with a sword to the face. In my defense, guys, he seemed like a real dipshit. Making our way to the final chamber of the dungeon, after solving some of the most rudimentary puzzles known to man, we face off with this extra sassy dead guy. Took this big holy fuck rock off his body and burned our retinas on his weird sand chicken scratch. Returning to the tradesman, he thanks us for risking our lives to get some gold fucking ornament with 400 gold. Okay, but why not melt down that gold into a similar ornament? He's a merchant with plenty of money, and there's a fucking blacksmith right across the street. But I digress. Thus our adventures begin. Next time we'll be doing some top tier adventuring, and avoiding actual quests like the fucking plague. If you enjoyed this video, fondle that like button, and you know, sub, and all that good jazz. Check out the Twitch, where we raw dog games like real chads. And I'll see you guys in like a year or something, whenever I next upload. Bye bye